My name is Grace Jurgens. I'm a freshman from Tappan, North Dakota. Uh, the title of this devotion is, The Glory of the Lord Guided the Israelites. We read from Exodus 13, verses 21 and 22. By day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so they could travel by day or night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. I borrowed my parents' vehicle a few months ago. While digging for a pen, I couldn't believe my eyes. There, in all of its dusty glory, was a road map. It's kind of sad that we don't typically use these anymore. Instead, our GPS speaks to us about each and every step, recalculating every turn leading us to our final destination. The children, of, the children of Israel didn't have a GPS voice and satellite tracking to guide them. Instead, they had the glory of the Lord himself in a visual way, guiding, guiding their every footstep by day and by night. We are numb to headlights and streetlights. The children of Israel likely marveled each day at the light that emanated from the pillar of fire. No matter the time of day, they knew they were moving in the right direction toward the home God had prepared for them. What's leading your life today? If you're anything like me, this living and active roadmap of God's word sometimes gets dusty in life's glove compartment. So often, especially during the Advent season, we're tempted to venture off to follow the materialistic voices of this world. I ask for forgiveness for the many times this happens. So what can we do? Does your faith life need recalculating like mine? Advent is all about preparing for Christ. During Advent, you will see lights on trees, houses, and sometimes even ugly Christmas sweaters. It's a great reminder that our light has left, not left this place in front of the people. This light shines brightly in scripture, where we see that Jesus has removed all the obstacles and lit up the pathway to heaven. By his life, death, and resurrection, he's done it all for us. So friends, Dust off that road map, not the one in your parents' glove box, but the one on your bookshelf or in your Bible app. Dive into the word, which reminds you of the clear path to heaven, found in Christ alone. Open your map this Advent season and beyond. We join together in prayer. Lord, lead me this Advent season to, your daily, to daily recalculate my life through regular reading of your word. I trust in you to bring me home. Amen. Thank you for listening, and God's blessings on your God's blessings on your Christmas celebration.